What's up guys, Government Fish here. Back with another top five. But this time it's gonna be on the top five most respectable or top five most just like players that are most honorable in Star Wars Battlefront. And this can be like a variety of different players or it can be like like stuff they use, how they get kills like how they um play the objective or how they um like heal teammates or support other teammates it could be a variety of things now um i got the idea to make this video while making my other one which is the top five most annoying players star wars battlefront i feel like it's it's a good idea to balance the um like balance my opinions on different players so it doesn't seem like I'm just you know one-sided on on this game there are some there are things I do like about it which is why I play it or used to play it a lot anyway kinda yeah so without further ado I will begin my list and starting with number five I will pick the those who use the Cycler rifle as a sniper. Now, I know from personal experience that it can be very difficult to get kills with the cycler rifle. And there's there are a few weapons when you get killed by them that you're like, oh wow, that's pretty cool. Like good shot or whatever. S most of the time you're like, oh really? You're using that weapon, but yeah, the cycle rifle is one of those where if I get shot cross map by it, I immediately think, "Wow, that guy's pretty good with his weapon." You know, because it's it's very hard to get kills with it. So that person who can do that earns my respect as a sniper. So number four. Now I'm gonna go with the player who uses Luke in extraction because Luke or Leia in Extraction because these two players I see as players that either help out a lot with the objective or or that that in Leia's case help out with the objective a lot to help guard it and all that stuff and she's not super overpowered or annoying or in any way she's you know fairly easy to take out but if the player's good then they can survive longer and provide more support that isn't the case with nine numb and boss who usually just are in it for the kills and then luke on the other hand is very good in the beginning for clearing a path because i know on some of the maps it can be kind of difficult to get the the um shipment started but if you have Luke come in and just clear it out and then have them start the shipment it's a little more fair and balanced and it's overall just more fun because you can get a longer you know match going and get longer battles and stuff so I'm gonna give number four to Luke and Leia in extraction all right and moving on to number three this is a tough one between this three and two, but I'm gonna go with number three is the CA87 user. So, as you know, CA87 is pretty difficult weapon to use. People are really good with it, and then others can't use it to save their lives. But with practice, I was able to learn how to use it, and I'm actually pretty good with it. So. Um, these players, when I get killed by them, most of the time, I, I like, respect them because it does take some skill to use the CA-87. It, you have to hit them in the right spot, you have to, like, you know, just, it, there's a lot of factors that play into it for some reason, and it can be difficult to get kills. But there are select times where someone is too good with it, then it can get a little frustrating. So my pick for number three is the C87. And then number two, I will, this is kind of like a vague answer, a little bit of a bailout, but I'm going to go with those players who, 
who play the objective because a lot of the time I will find myself playing the playing the um you know the game like droid run or whatever and it'll be on like that map Jawa Refuge with the sand crawler and you will just get people constantly camping up there and just shooting you from the the crawler the sand crawler and it's it just gets really annoying but I to those players on your own team and the even the players on the enemy team those who play the objective for to help their team win the game the way it's supposed to is pretty honorable and respectable so it happens less than you think if you just think about it so that's why I'm gonna throw it out there they make the game more fun and you know funner to play they make you want to come back and you know keep playing it so that's number two I got a few honorable mentions but very quickly here's one more honorable mention for the top five annoying players which I forgot to include in that video this one will be the strafe runners because it's like really you need to get into a ship to take out infantry that's just pretty cowardly in my my eyes and probably many others I see people like rewarding that all over channels and stuff it's like ooh, this, look at this strafe run they get like 20 kills in one go I'm like what fun is that if you just spawn in trying to you know strategize to get the objective and then someone just flies in and kills you and like five people around you and then you get a respawn and then you just get spawn killed again that's it's just no fun to me unless for some reason you think that's fun huh but yeah that that's just need to get that out of the way but honorable mentions for this video and this topic are pretty not as many it's got like a couple um, those who use the the f original weapons like the AC um, or the a280C or whatever the rebel blaster is and the E11 I mean they are used a lot but I always saw them as the more balanced weapons because they're simple they're basic and they're easy to use they're fun to use and they're pretty decent but they're not too overpowered so when I see someone using that without explosive shot or anything to like boost it then I think you know this person is actually trying to play Star Wars Battlefront as a Star Wars game and trying to get that experience so I respect them for that and then the other one is going to be the just in general the players who are really good at infiltration because infiltration is a very difficult can be a very difficult game type on either side sometimes it feels unbalanced other times it's not but it just depends but yeah like if you can run it or you can guard the objective I already mentioned this for objectives but it's infiltration infiltration specifically because it it's one of the harder ones so if you're really good at the objectives in that you know it's pretty pretty respectable and that's not including the first part because does take a little bit of skill but not as much as the other parts now on to number one my top respected player for me anyway is going to be the DLT 19 X sniper this compared to the cycler rifle which I mentioned earlier is much harder to use and often with its instant overheat it if you miss a headshot or don't get the kill you're most likely dead so I found having either a scatter gun or other snipers in your hand or even a scout pistol can help you get those kills and then having explosive shot or um, cooling cell can help you just like get more damage or shoot faster to ensure you get the kill that you know you're trying to snipe but seeing players snipe me with that weapon 
shows me that, like, you know, they are skilled snipers. And I've always respected snipers in most games. Not to, you know, <coughs> call a dude. Uh, anyway. Um, but, yeah, it's just getting killed by them. It's I never, not once felt, you know, this guy's cheating or this guy's overpowered or, or anything like that. It's always been just straight respect towards those players. And that will conclude this video. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Um, this video was a little bit easier for me to make. But at the same time a bit harder because I had to think you know, more about this one. While the other one was just off the top of my head because it happened so, so often. This one, things happen that I talked about in this video happen less frequently. Which is a shame, but when they do happen, it makes the game way more fun. Now, hopefully it carries over to Battlefront 2, most of the stuff I talked about. So, that is it for this video, and I will see you next time on my next video. Oh, and um, if you like, go ahead and put your top five in the comments, or if you agree or disagree, go ahead and write that if you want to. See you guys later.